Welcome back to the Snowpoint cast. Today we're going to be looking at a deck from RS to PK called Raydoom. Uh, let's get right into it. So starting off with four Rayquaza EX, uh, this is your deck's main attacker. Rayquaza EX has got 110 HP, two retreat, no resistance, and no weakness. So that's really clutch actually, not having a weakness in this format is pretty cool because there's pretty much every type represented in RS to PK. So not having a weakness is a pretty big buff for this deck uh the poke body is really solid and one of the reasons that this deck is like played uh rage aura if you have more prize cards left than your opponent ignore all colorless energy costs necessary for uh requ to use requasi x's special circuit and sky high claws so that makes special circuit a uh, single at lightning for an attack which is super solid and then sky high claws two lightning for 70 which is also really solid um so special circuit the first attack for a lightning and a colorless if you're tied or ahead on prizes uh choose one of your opponent's pokemon this attack does 30 damage to that pokemon if you chose a pokemon that has any poke powers or poke bodies this attack does 50 damage instead so this is the attack that the deck is essentially based around because how this deck works is you want to go down on prizes because you benefit it on it, right? Like you can have a single attack special circuit or uh, a single attach rather a special circuit or a double attached sky high claws. So when you go down special circuit just lets you go like, okay, I'm going to ping here. 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 Like you can ping wherever you want, but you don't have to take a prize until you want to. So you wait until they take a prize and then you can use like pow hand extensions and up like admin or whatever to just come back on the board and special circuit is great because it lets you control when you take your prizes you never have to take a prize unless you like want to so that's super awesome uh, also 50 snipe for one is like pretty insane like when you're down on prizes special circuit is a really good value attack for sure uh, and then sky high claws is pretty good value as well not really if you're paying four energy but for two for 70 that's a really solid uh two energy attack just lots of damage and a good uh secondary attack to have because you know doing 70 is just better than doing 50 or 30 rather okay so you also play two houndour uh so houndour has got 50 hp a single retreat and a weakness to water i actually think this is the wrong houndour there's a better houndour out there um it's the smog houndour oh just kidding it's not the smog houndour i think that costs a fire i'm gonna put it on the screen i don't remember i think it costs a fire it's better in arcanine um i'm just thinking that it might be better in this but i i don't think that it actually is because i think smog is a fire if it's a colorless it's not but i'm pretty sure it's a fire so anyway uh the houndour's got rear kick one for ten just a colorless attack lets you you know hit for some damage if you're starting a houndour and you don't really have anything else and then smoke shurian for a fire and a colorless you do 20 uh, if the defending pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn your opponent flips a coin if tails that attack does nothing um so you play those to play hound doom so hound doom is an amazing card really powerful especially because um rayquazi x is such a powerhouse for like a single card right like you can have one rayquazi x and a hound doom and your opponent that's a pretty hard board for your board for your opponent to deal with because not only are they um dealing with lonesome they like they, they don't really have a way to like force you to bench more pokemon because rayquaza is such a utility pokemon in itself um so anyway houndoom 70 hp a single retreat and a weakness to water uh poke body is lonesome this is the main reason you play it uh so lonesome says as long as you have less pokemon in play than your opponent your opponent can't play trainer cards from their hand except for supporter cards um so this is great because you like i said you could just have one or even two rayquaza exes and that like be essentially setting up your board you don't really need anything either like because if you're down on prizes rage aura lets you just attack for like one or two energy um so really low that's one of the big strengths of this deck is your really low commitment um in like what you need to get set up like if you if you hit a stage one and one energy on a rayquaza x if your opponent's already taking a prize it's like you're already you're doing lots of damage at that point um so lonesome is a great poke body and you play the two three line just because you don't play as many outs to find the uh hound doer as you do to play the hound doom uh you play dual balls which lets you find the hound doer but you just have to kind of luck sack draw into the hound doom uh, which is a little bit less consistent, but that's why you play the 2-3. So Houndoom's got some attacks you can use as well. Uh, tight Jaw, 2 for 20. Flip a coin of heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Good in a pinch, for sure. And then Flamethrower for a Fire Fire Colorless, it is 70. Um, and then you discard a Lightning Energy, or a <laughs> Lightning, a Fire Energy attached to Houndoom. I'm thinking about Rayquaza X. Um, and so yeah, I mean, Flamethrower, you do play a Scramble Energy, so you can get a Flamethrower off this deck. Can use Houndoom as an attacker if your opponent is playing like Meta Knight or something. Uh, it is can be important to have that fire type as an attacker, but yeah, just good to know that Houndoom is a potential attacker for the deck as well. Okay, so getting into some of the trainers, uh, we're gonna start off with four Pow Hand Extension. So Pow Hand Extension is an awesome card, really solid. Um, so yeah, 
you can activate POW in one of two ways. So if you're down on prizes, that's the only way you can use POW is if you're down on prizes. Um, you get to choose one of two options. You could either move an energy attached to the active Pokemon to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, or you can bring up one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active. So both of these have um, like certain times where they're useful. Bringing up your opponent's active, especially with special circuits, being able to snipe whenever you want, wherever you want. If your opponent has like a fat retreater on the bench, like a two or three retreater, um, you could just drag that up with a pow and then start special circuiting all around while your uh, opponent's got a fat retreater stalled active. Or alternatively, another cool thing you can do is move an energy from the active to a Pokemon and then kill it with special circuit. So you're removing energy from the board entirely. Um, so yeah, really solid card. And it, the reason you play four is because when this card, when you're able to get like two POWs in a single turn, that's when this deck turns up and it becomes really difficult to deal with because, you know, let's say you're attacking with an Arcanine EX and you've got like two energy on the active or even like three, if you got three energy on the active. Um, if your opponent, like if your opponent's playing Raydoom and they go double POW hand extension onto like a Houndoom or something on the bench, uh, then all of a sudden you're going to be losing the trade because you get sky high claws twice and then you're dead and you can't even really come back at that point. Like you can't go attach and then do something like you, they can attach and overrun you for like 30, 20, but because you had those double POWs in a turn, it just, it can make it really difficult to come back on Rayquaza. Or, like if you get ahead it's difficult to like come back after they gain board position rather i'll say so like as soon as they get ahead obviously you want them to go ahead and then you can turn it around on them by like going like double pow into knockout or whatever you want and then as soon as ray regains board control it's really easy for ray to keep the board control once it uh, already has it so speaking of board control we're going to be playing four energy removal two as well um also you know another card that just slows your opponent down a little bit and it's nice because you don't have to worry about just getting steamrolled either like if your opponent just goes heavy it's let's say or they're playing arcanine to, to keep consistency's sake um i mean if they're playing arcanine then <laughs> they can go they can take let's say they take a prize on a hound door really early um if you get one energy removal two heads all of a sudden that just changes the momentum back in your favor um because you can go like attach sky high claws and then you're two shotting and it can just it's just one of those cards that lets you come back a little bit um because you do want to go down but it, it is one of those cards that just keeps keeps the pacing a little bit more in your favor uh, and it keeps your opponent from like getting away with a a lead so you have to play four dual ball. Dual ball is an awesome card. Uh, I'll actually describe what energy mode two does. I didn't even do that. Um, so you flip a coin of heads, uh, discard an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Just really basic, but good. Anyway, uh, so four dual ball, also a super solid card. Uh, flip two coins for each heads. Uh, search your deck for a basic Pokemon card. Show it to your opponent and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. So this is great for finding Rayquaza EXs. Um, nothing really in the format other than like a Holland Researcher can guaranteed find it. And even then, that only gets one. But dual ball can potentially find you like two rays or a ray and a Houndour. There is that odd 25% chance that it gets you nothing. But you play four, so I mean, you don't really need a ton of Pokemon out. And uh, four dual ball is a ton of Pokemon search. Really solid card in this deck as well. You also play three Warp Point. Uh, Warp Point has a couple of uses in this deck. So the first one is being able to switch into a Ray uh, as soon as you can, because if you start a Houndour or, you know, like if you start a Houndour and you have a Ray on the bench, you don't really want to have that attached to the Houndour to get it out of there. You just want to go attached to the Ray and then next turn I want to be attacking with Special Circuit. Um, Warp Point kind of helps you with that, but the main reason you play three Warp Point, I think, is because Cessation Crystal is such a, a bother for this deck. Uh, Cessation Crystal shuts off rage aura so you can't really have that rage aura is like one of your big benefits in this deck that you you rely on um and warp point is great because it just switches them out of the active and it doesn't really matter where they are this, with the cessation crystal because you can just special circuit as long as it's not the active you can special circuit to wherever you were going to special circuit to anyway so i mean warp point is a really solid card in this deck and it, it's a really a, a cessation crystal counter because that card is so oppressive you also play two Windstorm, uh, also kind of a Cessation Crystal counter. You play five Cessation counters with Warp Point and Windstorm. Um, but Windstorm's also great for getting stadiums out of play. Uh, you do play some stadiums yourself, but just being able to discard, you know, a stadium and a tool, uh, it, it's good for sure. And, and being able to win the stadium war is nice because you only play three Cursed Stone. So when you do play those two Windstorms, a lot of uh, decks in this format play four or five stadiums. So you have that option to still win the stadium war uh, if you want to with the Windstorms. So simply one uh, Pokemon Retriever. So Pokemon Retriever is a solid card in this deck. You either get to search your deck 
or search your discard pile rather for one uh, basic revolution Pokemon or take three and shuffle them into your deck. So this is usually just going to grab you a Rayquaza EX back. Sometimes it can get you a Houndoom, I guess, but uh, more often than not, it's just going to retrieve a Ray, Ray EX for you, which is a solid part of the card. And then you also play one VS Seeker. So versus Seeker, um, it's just to get your uh, supporters back. You do play a lot of supporters and it's just for a little bit of consistency, but you do it is technically a fifth Rockets Admin if you need to. Rockets Admin is one of the most powerful cards in this deck because you do want to go down on prize so it does really hurt your opponent when you admin them and versus seeker just lets you do that a little bit more and it's just kind of a consistency option it's good to have options for uh your supporter cards just to play three cursed stone like i was talking about so cursed stone is an awesome card um at any time it's a stadium card anytime in between turns each player puts one damage counter on his or her pokemon that have a poke power so you only play bodies in the deck rage aura and lonesome are both poke bodies so you don't really have to worry about um taking any ticks from cursed stone this is mainly to just you know stick with that special circuit snipe damage you're just able to spread more and and the more damage that you're doing over time with ticks uh the more dangerous special circuit becomes because you just get closer and closer to a knockout there um okay so looking into some of the supporter cards we're going to start off with four rockets and min rockets and min is a really good card in this deck like i was saying just because it gives you that option to punish your opponent for going up on prizes on you and that's usually what they want to do like they'll kill a ray ex before you take a prize if that's what you want to do so then you can go boom kill a ray now i'm going to admin you to four and then special circuit you're active and kill it or sky high claws you're active and kill it with a pow hand extension or something and it's just like it, with, when you hit those combos when you hit like rockets admin pow sky high claws uh that's when this deck can get super super powerful and really scary to deal with uh, when you're dealing with both an admin and a pow hand extension in the same turn okay so you also play three mary's request um honestly the supporters in this deck i think you could like mess around with some different supporters i do like the discarding though because it keeps you uh a little bit more consistent because you do want to be admitting so the you're gonna play three Mary's request and then the next four supporters it just draws you three essentially because you don't play any um stage two of all pokemon just stage one so it Mary's is just a, a draw three every time tv reporter which is a four of as well um it's essentially the same thing but it forces you to discard a card after it, it seems like a bad thing really but it's not um because you want to be admitting late in the game but there's a lot of cards that you don't really want to draw once you have a, a setup board so tv reporter lets you thin those cards um you know depending on the matchup cursed stone could be dead or if you already have a one one houndoom your houndoom lines are dead or the dual balls are dead i mean you could just burn them i guess but there are some cards uh that can be dead like certain matchups windstorm is dead so it's good to be able to to thin the cards that you don't want in certain matchups and tp reporter helps you do that let's play two steven's advice uh steven's advice is a solid supporter really just a staple in most decks um so if you have s more than seven cards in your hand you can't play seven or more cards in your hand you can't play this card um and then you draw equal to the number of your opponent's pokemon to play so this is great because you don't play a ton of pokemon but uh hull and mentor is one of the staple supporter cards of this format and as soon as someone like drops a mentor you're just stevensing for four which is just it's decent draw for out of a, a supporter and it can be more like it's four sometimes it's five sometimes it's six so just a, a solid draw supporter there okay so the deck also plays a bunch of lightning energy energy i think it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven lightning energies you're playing eleven lightnings uh lots of lightning whoa <laughs> um but it's just because you want that turn one attach on the ray and then you want the turn two attach as well to go into the special circuit you don't really play any like pokemon based energy consistency like you don't have the option to play like a mentor line to get cast forms and megdomites um so you just play a ton of energies just so that's pretty consistent and you're playing 11 lightnings which seems like a lot and then you're also playing two scramble energy like i was saying before um just so you, you have that option to attack with houndoom um scramble is great to attack with houndoom really that's the only thing you can use it for but flamethrower for 70 i mean two attacks with 70 if you use a sky high claws and a flamethrower that's pretty much killing everything in the format um so houndoom can be a really clutch attacker at times especially because you're down on prizes so often that scramble is live a lot of the time and then you also play two cyclone energy uh, so cyclone can be really great because it forces your opponent to switch their active with one of their bench pokemon and like let's say your opponent's playing like arcanine ex uh just because that's such a good deck i think that uh th it's a good example to go back to so if they have an arcanine ex and they're playing arcanine they have a houndoom on the bench as well you can cyclone them force their houndoom up and then uh, kill it with sky high claws if you don't get a knockout on the arcanine or you don't really want to attack the arcanine there's some positions where you don't really want to attack your opponent's active and you just want to kill something on the bench um so cyclone lets you do that 
So yeah, this has been Raydoom from uh, RS to PK. If you have any questions about the deck, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll uh, do my best to get to them. But thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.